So for Netflix, it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship between the user and so-called its server. So every time you log into the Netflix account, every time uh, you watch a particular show, every time you click a like button, every time you even maybe quit a particular show, all of that is an information now Netflix has. So one of the example I think we give in the book um, is the House of Cards. Um, so when the House of Cards was being pitched to network televisions, including to the Netflix, uh, Netflix had data about, at the time they had say 30, 35 million customers. So they had a pretty good idea how many of its people actually like David Fincher? How many people might like Kevin Spacey? How many people like political drama? Or even some combination of that. Now you have all this intelligence. You feel pretty good about making some predictions on whether the show is likely to be successful with my subscriber base. Compare that with maybe some you know, traditional firms who have aggregate information, so you get Nielsen rating, you know so many people from you know, 15 to 24 age or 15 to 34 year olds are essentially watching the show from 9 to 9.45. So compared to such an aggregate data, now you have Netflix which knows exactly you know, who watches what. And then it can actually even promote the content appropriately. So the House of Cards, they had actually created I think six different trailers which could you know, they could use it to promote to, you like this sort of thing, so let me highlight this part of House of Cards. You li like those sort of things, so let me highlight that part of the House of the Cards. So right there you can see the having access to this detailed user information and having the skills and willingness to use the data, you would think that provides them an advantage. And, and you can see where, where the industry is now going.